Hey, my name's Tyler. Today is my daughter's first birthday. I can't believe I've been a mom for a year now. It's surreal. And I just wanted to share like some of the things I've embraced from motherhood. And I just thought it would be fun to like reflect on this journey. Okay, first, embracing honesty. Like one thing I feel like being a mom just has made me even more honest than ever before. Like I've always been like a people pleaser. You know, like you just say, oh, I'm good. Like when someone asks how you're doing, but like as a mom, I've really learned how to say like, no, I am feeling whatever emotion it is at the time. Like just being honest. And I've been really honest about my whole pregnancy journey. I did a ton of videos on each trimester of my pregnancies because I was like, I don't know if moms in my life, like maybe I didn't know a lot of moms in my life or like I just haven't heard the conversation conversations, but like pregnancy was so hard and I didn't hear a lot of conversations about that. Now that I'm a mom of a year, like I've been seeking out podcasts that are honest and talk about some of the struggles mothers deal with and just having that real conversation because there's like this thing where people are like, you know, you have to be so grateful and so appreciative and like you can never have a hard day or like whatever, like you have to put up a front that everything's perfect because you have this bundle of joy but I'm seeking out conversations that are very honest and I want to be honest myself. And I want to prepare people for like, if they are gonna have kids, like I'm like, this is what you're signing up for. Yes, every family's different, every child's different, but like here's my experience and here's my honest experience. Okay, another thing I've been embracing during this time is community. It has blown my mind like how much support my husband and I have and just how grateful we are to have this community that we've built like with our family, our friends, other mothers. I'm really leaning on community right now and I think it's so amazing to feel supported, have people you can talk to, go to about any struggles. Like sometimes the community gives unsolicited advice, but that's not usually the case thankfully for my community but i know people deal with that but like still having someone where you can seek advice like if you want it like it's it's a game changer and like having an online community like i said i've been listening to a lot of podcasts i'll put some of the podcasts in the description box here maybe i'll list them on the screen right here and like you can like pause the video but there's some really good podcast episodes where like they're they have their own community and they're having really good open conversations okay the next one is embracing change so the one thing I did not realize that would change so much and be so difficult to navigate is like the change in style. I, when I was pregnant, I was like, I don't know how to dress. Like I just want to be comfy, but like I still had to go to work. And I was like, how do I wear a cute work outfit? I just, I didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel good in my outfits. And I've always been really into like fashion and style. And I used to like kind of play with different outfits, but I felt so like blah and not like myself when I was pregnant. And I would try to shop for outfits, but like, I was like, whatever, after I give birth, like maybe I'll have fun again and get back into style. But even then I was like, okay, now I'm breastfeeding. I switched to like more button downs and like, I used to wear a comfy where I'm bundled up and comfy at home. Like it wasn't cute at home. I was just cozy. I couldn't even wear that. Cause like it's too, it's like a giant oversized hoodie. So like to take it off to breast. So I'm like, just relearning my style has been so challenging. I'm still relearning it. I'm at the point where now it's not as like daunting to get dressed. But before I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to wear. And if I wore an outfit, I was like, oh, I don't feel cute. Like just because the outfit was not, not good. <laughs> Like usually I just rush and grab some pieces. And I'm like, whatever, this is good enough because I don't have time to change. Like I already got dressed. So I don't know what exactly to do about that. <laughs> um, there's a few mommy YouTubers who I really like who share this style journey. So maybe I'll put, you could pause the screen. Like we'll put the list right there of like people who have been talking about navigating the motherhood style journey. And maybe I'll do some posts on that as well because I'm just like, oh my gosh, style changed so much. And I wasn't expecting that. That's been interesting. Okay, the next thing I'm embracing is growth. Growth for my daughter specifically, like we're letting her explore. Like I'm trying not to be so strict about like, here's a toy, you have to play with it this way. You know, like I'm really letting her like explore and experience things. So she's growing, she's one years old now. Like, oh my goodness, it's so adorable just seeing her like develop new skills. You know, like now she's pointing at everything. Like it's such a fun experience seeing her grow. And then I have grown myself like in ways I could have never imagined. I, I became a new person. Everyone says like when you become a mom, it, like you're a new person and like you have to like grieve the person you used to be. Like I feel like I have grown 
so much. Like I've always been pretty responsible, but like I feel like I'm way more responsible now. Like I'm not the main character of my story anymore. Like people are like, be the main character. I'm not the main character and I'm okay with that. I am happy to not be the main character. And I don't know if that takes growth. Like I feel like I've matured a lot. I've grown in like speaking up for myself, speaking up for my daughter, like that kind of thing. Okay, and then the other growth tip I said that I can do hard things. Oh my gosh, like motherhood, it's so hard. Just being a parent is so hard. Like people say it's hard, but like just experiencing it, like the lack of sleep, figuring out the needs of the child, figuring out a new self. I was always really into like entrepreneurship and running a business, doing all the things and like excelling and like just pushing myself to like be the best. Oh my goodness, like when I gave birth, like none of that mattered. I said I'm not the main character anymore, like nothing mattered besides like taking care of my daughter and like my relationship with my daughter. And like that was my main focus and concern. And like, I didn't even touch thrifts and tangles for like three months, I think. Like I couldn't even think about my business. And it was so weird because I wasn't expecting that. I had some jobs come up like the first month she was born and I turned them down, like turned down opportunities. And it's like so weird how the priorities had shifted. And then at one point, like I was like, okay, I wanna get back to posting and creating content and like nurturing this community online that I've created over the past, I don't know, 12 years now? Has it been that long? 10 years? I don't know, since 2012, I don't want <laughs> 11 years? Yeah, right? Yeah. But I was like, okay, I don't, know how to show up because I'm like, I want to have real conversations. Like, but I'm like a mom, like literally if you look, so I'm on my couch, but like, look at this. Like it's a mess. It's a mess. It's not clean in here. I was like, let me find a little clean corner, but like things like that. That's another part of growth where I'm like, okay, how do I show up in a way that feels good? It took me a whole year to finally figure out how do I even want to show up online, which has been really weird because I didn't want to do the stuff I was posting before, but I have a rebrand coming. That's another video. Okay. Another thing I'm embracing is communication. So I need to ask for help again. I, I'm like, I can do all the things. I can juggle everything. I don't need help. I'm an independent woman. Like I could do all, do all the things. <laughs> and then like, I'll be sitting there like looking like I'm struggling and people will offer help. And I, like, I need to just learn to say yes. Yes. Thank you. I accept the help and like I've been getting better at that and then embracing asking for help like I just need to ask like hey can you do this I can't, I can't do it all and that's something that's been hard to do I'm almost 30 and I just learned how to ask for help only because I came became a parent so the sooner you can start asking for help the better like I even got help with my business it's been amazing if you need a video editor Anna this is a shout out to you I'm gonna put your info on the screen because you've made it so I don't have to worry about like trying to edit my videos while juggling everything else I'm doing yeah just asking for help and hiring help and just utilizing help is so important okay Sorry, I had a phone call, so if the setting changed, that's why. But okay, the next thing I'm embracing is love. So I'm in a book club. I'll put the book club info right here. Oh my goodness, we read All About Love by Bell Hooks, and it was such a beautifully written book. I've never read Bell Hooks before, but like, oh my goodness, it was pulling on all the heartstrings, and it was kind of telling her thoughts on love. Like, we were never taught how to love specifically. Like, people kind of know what love is, but not exactly. And so it was just talking about like love in our society and our very capitalist society. And it was a really good read. I would highly recommend it. But I was reading the book and now that I'm a mom, I was like, oh my goodness, I relate it to everything on a deeper level. And I really want it to apply what Bell Hooks was saying about love to how I show my daughter love. And it, it's such a good book. But yeah, so I was like, oh my goodness, like just like thoughts on love, conversations about love. Like I feel like I feel it even more because this love I have for my daughter is undescribable. Like I'm never indescribable. Yeah, I've, I've never felt love this way before. I just have no words for it. I also have so much love for our ancestors. Like anytime I look at my daughter, I just think of everything our ancestors went through, just having families torn apart because of slavery, ripping families apart from their children. Like anytime I see her, I just like, I just feel so grateful that I get to be with her. And I just, my heart goes out to all of the ancestors who dealt with such brutal and gruesome and violent behaviors towards them and their families. And I just think of the articles and in the newspaper where people like, have you seen my son and like trying to reconnect with their families like even after the slaves were freed and like it just breaks 
my heart and it makes me want to love my daughter like that much harder because our ancestors did not get to be in their children's life. I always think of that. I always think of the mothers and fathers who lost their children to police brutality. And like, I just feel so much love for just black children in general. Like as black mothers, we are facing so much like racism and so much like violence and like systems against us and our children. And it makes me just want to love that much harder and love those around me that much harder. I just have so much love for people, the world, like even for like some of these people that are like so bad, I'm like, oh my goodness, like you are a horrible person, but like you're someone's kid. And like, I even feel that weird, like, oh my God, I feel like you are someone's baby. Being a mother is a weird thing. The last thing I've been embracing is just life. So life is short. I've been hearing people say life is long and I don't know where this expression came from, who is using it. I'm like, I don't agree with that statement at all. I personally have been in a really bad car accident. It broke my pelvis, it goes the whole thing. I was in the hospital for two weeks. I got T-bone, like it could have been such a bad accident. Like I am so grateful to even be here today. I'm really embracing just being present, being active, like and making sure like we build those relationships with the people we love. I lost my grandpa recently and I'm so grateful my daughter got to meet him and like seeing that interaction between him, he was 93 years old and my now one year old daughter, like seeing them interact was just so beautiful. We're trying to just embrace life, like make special occasions really special. Even like Valentine's Day, people always hate on Valentine's Day. I actually really like Valentine's Day, like just making the holidays feel special. Life can be really mundane, right? And like you're just going through the motions, but like, if you really make an active effort to make like certain days special and even if you want to make every day special and like go smell the roses, you know? So I've been trying to just embrace life, embrace the special occasions, embrace the fact that it is short and just make the most of it and make it fun. Yeah, those are the things I'm embracing with motherhood. So we have, we're embracing honesty, community, change, growth, communication, love, and life. If you are a mother, an expecting mother, or if you just are enjoying this conversation, let me know what is something that you are embracing in this stage of your life right now. Leave it in the comments below. I really would like to have a discussion about this. And yes, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.